Water Night Gaming. I know that this is really, really different. Um, let's break this watermelon really quickly. Yeah, this is a voiceover, obviously. Because when you get into the other thing, it's not going to be that much. And really, three watermelons? We could have gotten nine. But anyways, this is Myth Busting. As you're about to see by this book I'm going to pick up, the Myth Busting book. We're pretty much just busting myths. So, yeah. There's a little quick view of the lab. In, in the Myth Busting book, can water bottles do the, the exact same thing as water buckets? Can they fill cauldrons, put out fires, and be placed? Anyways, let's hop into the video and listen to my me. <laughs> I did a lot of misspelling. Can the water can water bottles do the exact same thing as water buckets? And if we head over here, we should have. Hello. Hello, water. This is Gab. <laughs> we are in our science lab. Well, I'll show a really quick clip of that. Okay, so if we head in the door here, if. I if I can get in. <laughs> um, we have this room, it's just like a little hallway from the front door. If we go in here, let's open the button, we have the sanitation room. Press this button right here, you get water dispensed on you to clean off, then press it again, and it is, and it goes away. <laughs> if we go, press this button, it leads us into a hallway into this room. The paintings are all gone. Yeah, as you see. <laughs> And then we walk into the here, this is the middle room. Um, so, if we head over here, we have three elements, water, slime, and lava, and just some containers, why not? And then if we head over here, we have bookshelves to, st to store all of our scientific studies. Over here, in case we need to do any building for it, we have all of our building materials over here. And then if we head over here, we have all the brewing stands. Currently, we know potions in them, but it will eventually happen. It's important. So if you go into here, this is my office. We have invisible armor stand right there, holding up my entire costume. Here we have a captured zombie with really good armor. <laughs> and then over here we have, okay, my keyboard's a little out of place, but we have a keyboard with a little mouse for my laptop. And then we have some brewing stands with potions in them. We have a potion of healing and a cauldron. Now if we go here, we have brewing items, as you would have seen by the top if you paid attention. <laughs> and then if we go in here, we have my bedroom. Not much to it, I just like the roof. And I do have hanging up tools, as you're about to see. We have some bookshelves, because I like reading. I just don't read much, I need two more. Here's my bathroom. You probably really don't care about it, but scientific studies happen in here too, don't worry. This is my little shower, we have some murky water in the sink. And then finally, uh, as my, part of my room, we have my personal kitchen. Everybody has their personal bathroom and kitchen. We have a little table, we have some plates, and if we go here, we have kitchen supplies. Lots of milk, watermelons, and stuff. You know, stuff I like to eat. So, if we head back out of here, let's walk, jump over the table. We are going to head into Gab's room. Wait, no, I, I don't want to. Let's go over to the scientific lab room. Nope, let's go back to Gab Gab's room. I changed my mind. So, let's open the door. Open, 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 okay? Oh, there's Gab, sitting at his desk. Since this is a voiceover, you won't be able to hear him. <laughs> and then, right there, we have a shulker box. It's random stuff. Some potions. We have his legendary dragon egg. He, he likes doing experiments on that. He has diamond display. And if we go into here, he has his bedroom with a hanging up sword. And if we go, nope, nope, let's go over this way. And if we go into here, we have his kitchen. Not that much, but I mean, probably better than mine. Mine seems like an official kitchen. <laughs> like cafeteria style. His is just a normal kitchen. And this is his bathroom. Jesus, he doesn't even have a shower. He just has a sink and toilet. Guys, go blast him on Twitter. <laughs> if you follow his Twitter. If not, blast him over the comments. Anyways, let's get out. Hop over everybody's table. And finally, now we can check out the lab room. Nope, we're going to go check out the observing room. So if we head up here, we have everything observed. And, oh, uh, I just broke some stuff. Broke some stuff. Gab will fix that. Gab will fix that. Don't worry. He'll fix it. Soon. Later. But anyway, let's hop in here. There's, there's gold and coal, and then you have all down here where we will do our experiments. So, yeah. This is where we do our experiments. Anyways, this is what the, the whole thing looks like. And that will be our tour. Okay, clip is over now. 
Okay, so, um, hmm, what, er, what is all this? Oh, <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> so, splash mundane potions. I said water bottles. Why is there a mundane potion? Okay. Anyways, guys, yeah. Um, can you please grab, uh, light all this another rocket fire, please? <laughs> Trusty assistant. That is Gab, guys. So, the three main things that water bo- <laughs> You're- you get like yourself. He isn't creative, too, by the way, guys. Mainly because he's the assistant. <laughs> And why did I just open my inventory? Just lagged up the whole thing. So, um, the three main things that a water bucket can do is they can, f can fill cauldrons, put out fires, and, and they can be placed. in like this. So, can you get rid of this, this little pool? Okay. So, let's grab all of our mundane and water bottle potions. I, well, not really potions. Or splash, because that's lingering works too, but it just leaves like a trail of water, which doesn't really work that well. So, first thing is first is to see if they can fill up cauldrons. Well, no, no, we'll do that last. So, can you put the whole? Or let's see if they can be placed first of all. This is probably the most obvious. They can't. So that's no on the myth busting book. Next up, can they put out fires? This is something I'm curious about. They can. They can. That's. Whoa! Here, light it back on fire again. That's. That's neat. Nice, and then we'll just take that out. So they can put out fires. But last thing. But last thing is can they fill cauldrons? Well, ch test that. They... <laughs> That's a little weird. Can you go get me some, um, water bottles? Just normal water bottles, please? Sorry for the lag. Jesus, that was a lot of lag. Because, apparently, Splash... Splash does not fill them up. But... Okay, thank you. But... If we do a normal water bottle to it... Will it work? Yeah. Normal water bottle... No, no. And then you can also take them back. So, I guess this is the question. Can water bottles... Well, no, wait a second. Let's grab the book. We're going to need it. So the question, can water bottles do the exact same thing as water buckets? So, they can fill cauldrons. They can put out fires. But they cannot be placed. So that is mostly. That's... I'm not sure. Would that be a success or a fail? I'd say fail because they cannot be placed. Which is the main thing cauldrons can do. The main thing that um, water buckets can do. So would that be a fail? That would be a fail. Maybe. Yeah, that would be a fail. Well, guys. Where did my assistant go? Oh. Well, guys. Come here. Come here. I'm going third person. I'm editing this out too, by the way. This third person front. Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash that like button. Smash it. And if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. I will see you in the next episode. And as always, don't forget to stay afloat.